Neptune. We are learning about all of the planets in our solar system. Today, we are focusing on Neptune, the eighth planet from the Sun. Over 2.7 billion miles away from Earth, Neptune is the last planet in our solar system. Scientists discovered the planet in 1846 and were amazed at how different it was from the planets closer to the Sun. Its vibrant blue color inspired its name. Neptune is the Roman god of the sea. Like Uranus, its bright hue comes from the methane gas in its atmosphere, which absorbs red light and reflects blue light. Neptune is a big ball of gas and ice, making it a gas giant. The planet is sometimes referred to as an ice giant for obvious reasons. It is a frigid planet with temperatures sinking as low as negative 373 degrees Fahrenheit. Also, if you tried to stand on Neptune, you would just sink through thick clouds of hydrogen and helium. Ready for a question? What gives Neptune its bright blue hue? The methane gas in its atmosphere. Would it surprise you to learn that Neptune has rings? Because it does. Neptune has faint rings made of dust and ice, though they are not very bright or noticeable. Unlike Saturn and other planets, Neptune's rings are uneven. Scientists believe the planet's gravity creates strange patterns in the rings which make them super unique. True or false, scientists believe that Neptune's rings are uneven because of the planet's gravity. That's true. Of all the planets in the solar system, Neptune has some of the wildest weather. Famous for its powerful storms, Neptune has winds that can reach up to 1,200 miles per hour. That is faster than the speed of sound. The Great Dark Spot is one of Neptune's massive storms. This storm is so big, it is about the size of the Earth. Seriously. Scientists use telescopes and spacecraft like Voyager 2 to study this volatile weather. Which of Neptune's storms is as large as the Earth? The Great Dark Spot. Neptune has 16 moons, with names like Triton, Proteus, and Nereid. Triton is Neptune's largest moon, and it is intriguing for a few reasons. First, it is the coldest place in the entire solar system. It has icy volcanoes that shoot frozen nitrogen into the air. Triton also orbits Neptune backwards, which means it goes the opposite way most moons orbit their planets. Fill in the blank. Blank orbits Neptune backwards. Triton. A year on Neptune is really long. It takes 165 Earth years for Neptune to orbit the Sun. To put this into perspective, Neptune has only orbited the Sun one time since its discovery in 1846. Even though its years are long, Neptune's days are relatively short, around 16 Earth hours. Wild! Which is longer, a day on Earth or a day on Neptune? a day on Earth. Neptune's magnetic field is very unusual compared to Earth's. On Earth, the magnetic field lines up almost perfectly with the planet's axis, but Neptune's tilts around 47 degrees. This means that Neptune's magnetic field does not line up with the planet's center. Instead, the field is uneven and kind of lopsided. Scientists think this might be a result from movements of salty water or other materials deep inside the planet. Fill in the blank. Neptune's blank field is uneven and lopsided. Magnetic. Neptune is a fascinating planet that scientists like to study because of its unique characteristics. The next time your eyes search the night sky, you can think about the farthest planet from the sun and share what you have learned. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.